place you can get to in God where the evil one touches you not. You can get to the point where you are walking in such absolute agreement with God. That's what that two stands for, the absolute agreement that it is followed by three zeros which are symbolic to us of spirit because you can't see it, you can't grasp hold of it, you don't know where it came from, you don't know where it's going. It's invisible, but it's unstoppable. Can I get a witness in this house? And when you are walking in total and absolute agreement with God, then it is as if the adversary grabs for you and comes up with zero. Are you in this building? He's going to grab for your mind and come up with zero. He's going to grab for your body and come up with zero. He's going to grab for your spirit and come up with zero because you have been sanctified, spirit, soul, and body, and we're about to pass over this Jordan and reclaim enemy-held territory and take back everything that the adversary has stolen. Can I get just a whimper of a witness? Now, now, this is all going to happen as a result of Holy Ghost possession. Because the Holy Ghost possessing us is what the anointing is. The anointing is not some spooky thing floating around out there. The anointing is when the Holy Spirit possesses my spirit. The anointing is when the Holy Spirit possesses my mind. The anointing is when the Holy Spirit possesses my body. But God ain't moving in with the junk. Oh, it's quiet in here now. <laughs> We're living in the time where he that is with us is going to be in us. <laughs> We're living in a moment where the works that Jesus did shall you do and greater works. Why? Because I go to my Father. You missed it. I said you're going to do greater works because he went to his father. Because he said I'm going. But if I go, I will not leave you alone. I'll send you another comforter. One exactly alike in every essential detail and quality. And he that is now with you shall get inside you. You're going to do stuff you didn't want to do. You're going to say stuff you didn't know. You're going to go to places you couldn't get to because it's not you doing it. Greater is he that is in you now than he that is in the world. God is about to make a deposit. Oh, yes, he is. Holy Ghost looking through your eyes. Talking through your tongue, moving in your body. Mm, God Almighty, I can feel it right now. It usually starts down around my knees and starts moving up, but I, I can sense it in here right now. I, I feel waters around my ankles and they're rising. I said I feel waters around my ankles and they're rising. I feel water around my knees and it's rising. I feel water around my waist and it's rising. I feel water around my neck and it's rising. Whoop, there I go. It's another Holy Ghost flow. I'm caught up in the ebb tide of the flow of God. God. Somebody shout yes. yes. Sit down. Pastor, this is Harmony. You remember the lazy eye you called out? Yes. The doctors wanted to do surgery on her eye. When you called that out, the eye started twitching. It's no longer lazy is eye. Is this no her more. mom? Yes, this is her mom, Kim. Okay, mom. Okay, mom. How old's, how, how old's the baby? She's eight. She's eight years old. And could you, could you tell that there was something wrong with her eye? For a long time, 
a couple of years, she'd look at you and it would go like this, you yeah. know, periodically, and I was just leaving God to heal, and finally I thought, I better take her to the hospital, right. so I took her to Children's, they gave her glasses, they said she has dry eye syndrome, she's always squinting, so she can't read, she got held back a year, and they said they wanted to do surgery on the lazy eye, and I said, no, you know, no, and so they said, well, we're going to do a patch, we'll try that for eight weeks, I didn't even do that, it was just like, God, I know you're going to heal, I don't want to get, you know, embarrassed in school and wearing that, and that was, in, at the very beginning of school, they, they said How do you that. know something's different tonight? I laid hands on her when you said that, and she said that her eyes started twitching, and then it got all tingly, all on that left eye there. Well, come and look at her and see, see if you can tell the difference. Can you tell the difference now? Look back, look back and forth, look back and forth and back and forth. There's nothing wrong with her No, mm-mm, it's fine. <laughs> Pastor, Sarah here had a rash all over her body. You, I remember that. And you called that out. They even took her out and checked her, took her shoes off, her socks off, checked her. The rash is completely gone. Sit down right there. Sit down right Are you her mother? Sit down right there. Take her shoes off. Take her, no, her shoes. Take her shoes off. What they? She she's, she goes to the academy and she went to the school nurse about the second week she got here and it was. Is so the school nurse or somebody from the academy here that has seen this girl's rash? Huh? Well, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, tell these people who you are. I'm Beverly Supak. I'm the school nurse at World Harvest. You're the school nurse at World Harvest Christian Academy. Okay, come here, school nurse. Had you seen the rash on, don't look yet, had you seen the rash on this girl? How bad was it, Mother? Awful. The doctors didn't even know what it was. I went to the emergency room because we wanted to make sure it wasn't something contagious, and I did not get the medication because we didn't Okay, have school sure. nurse, you saw this. Okay, you want to check her? Is there any rash left on her? No rash! Totally gone. What? Totally gone. <laughs> Two lumps under her arm and one right here on the side of her jaw. She was scheduled to go to the James Cancer Center tomorrow, and the lumps have disappeared. If somebody don't run, I'm gonna have to run myself. It was on the side of your neck? Yes. And you could feel it? Yes. Was it sore? No. You could feel it? I've been taking her to emergency rooms. You've been taking her to the emergency room. And and you could feel it? Yes. Can you feel it now? No. No. I mean, I just, I never had a lump disappear. I just, I just would like to know how that feels. It I just like to know how it would feel. What? It was real hard. It was real hard in there. Called out, I said, in the name of Jesus, heal her. You tired of taking her to the emergency room, I can tell that. How many of you believe when she goes to the James Cancer Clinic, they're going to say, what are you doing here? Oh, my God, that, that black brother right there in the gold suit. Come here, come here, run here, run here. I don't have any idea who you are. I don't have any idea who you are. Are you in the ministry? You are. I thought... Where are you from? Uh, no. Get him up. I'm putting my delivering anointing on you. I'm putting my delivering anointing on you for prostitutes and crack addicts and alcoholics. What's going on? This this young lady here had surgery about a month ago for pains down in here, and uh, in your she was in so organs. much. You had a complete hysterectomy. A complete hysterectomy. And this morning she was in so much pain she couldn't even come to church, so she come to church tonight, and it's all gone. You need to get my healing. 
and I got it. As you came, in, what? As soon as I walked in, I got it. I came. As soon as you walked in, <laughs> I just walked. she said, I came to get healed. And as soon as I walked in, God healed me. Welcome to Victory Service. Shout victory, 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 victory. God wants his people living in victory. Victory, victory. No more pain. Lay your hands right there again. Give her the microphone. Say, Joni. Joni. Receive the word of the Lord. Receive the word of the Lord. Be healed. Be healed. Joni's my wife. <laughs> no!